Hey everyone, today I want to talk about doing dojo quickly. Let's get right on into it. This video is a two for one special on speedrunning dailies and meso acquisition, so be sure to stay tuned. First, make sure you're not in a party. Second, do the dojo prequest, the dragon and the tiger. This is not required to do dojo, but it will save you a click every time you enter dojo, and that's just awesome. Then, what you want to do, talk to Sogong in the middle here, spam your NPC chat, click on accept, and you'll be sent to this first room of the dojo. This first room does not have boss monsters. This first room is meant for you to do all of your buffs, monster park potions, guild skills, etc, etc. So you can do a full deep 15 minute dojo run. However, for the sake of this video, we are just doing floor 40. So I do not spend a minute in here buffing up. I get out of there as fast as possible because it takes a few seconds for every single boss to spawn in dojo. So I want to start getting that timer ticking down. And in the first floor, the second floor, I can pop whatever, you know, toggles I have or other class skills that I want to use so that I'm still progressing while buffing up here. Now, a lot of maplers consider dojo a once a week ordeal. They do their one full deep dojo run. If you rank high enough, you get a lot of dojo points. That's really cool. But you can enter dojo three times a day and you can get a lot of points from doing that. Now, in this video, since we're going to floor 40, you'll get 800 points per run. That's 10 points per floor, plus 100 points for clearing every 10th floor. So 800 a day, or 800 a run, excuse me. So do that three times a day, and you have now 2,400 points. If you can only clear floor 30, you'll get 1,800 points in a day. Floor 20, you'll get 1,200 points in a day. Now, why do you want these points? Mu Gong's Honor. Let's talk about Mugong's Honor. This bad boy right here in the dojo point shop, this is what you want to buy. You buy this scroll, you double click it, 10,000 of your character's honor points that you're probably not using anyway get extracted into a tradable medal of honor that you can sell in the auction house for a shitload of money on sunny Sunday 50% off ability resets. People go hog fucking wild on 50% off ability reset days with honor. You can make so much money doing this. It's awesome. Now, floors 1 through 19 are effectively identical. That's why I'm not really explaining any of these. There are some monsters that you get to 0% HP and they don't die right away. That's just the way it is. Like this Crimson Balrog right here, that's normal. They eventually die. It's like their weird last resort, last breath thing. Thankfully, there aren't very many of those floors because they are time wasters. Floor 20, which I'll skip ahead to since we don't need to see the rest of these, they're identical, is Hilla. If you cannot kill Hilla, immediately just stand in her barrier that gets spawned every now and again. I'm not sure if she will one-shot you otherwise, she might. Floor 21 through 29 have multiple enemies that spawn at the same time. So... I can't abuse my skill I've been abusing this whole time. I have to actually attack left and right. But floor 21 through 29 are identical like this, where you have one medium-sized boss monster that shows up, and you have a bunch of little minions you gotta take care of too. So we'll skip ahead through 21 through 29. Just take care of these with whatever AoE or mobbing skill you got. And floor 30 is Arcarium. We'll let floor 29 play, so I'm not skipping ahead past him. If you cannot one-shot Arcarium, bind him, because he will use super defense up, and he will waste your time. Sometimes he uses super weapon defense, sometimes he uses super magic defense. It's kind of a 50-50, so just bind him if you can't one-shot him, and you'll save yourself a lot of time, because you don't have to wait for that debuff to wear off, and sometimes he'll use damage reflection after that debuff, and it's no good. Now floor 31 through 37 have two bosses that spawn, one right after the other, so you just gotta kill them as fast as you can here. I am abusing Adele's Magic Dispatch skill, which just homes in on wherever the boss spawns, and if I get a reset I use it again, otherwise I wait a second for the boss to spawn on whichever side, and I just attack either direction here. You don't want to get hit by these webs, you just, you just don't, because they will slow you down. They bind you in place for quite a few seconds. I think it's up upwards of like five to ten seconds. So those are huge time wasters. That's why I just wait for them to de the webs to despawn. 
it's safe to stand on top of the bomb if there's just a, an unexploded bomb. Um, now, floors 38 and 39 have three boss monsters for whatever reason, because Nexon is the reason. Um, but same kind of idea, just kill them as fast as you can. Floor 31 through 40, I do start using some of my buffs to make sure I'm still one-shotting the mobs. I'm thankfully strong enough to be able to do that. This is the first floor where you have three bosses that show up, so don't let that throw you off. If your muscle memory jump into the portal every time, there will be a third boss that spawns. Waste a couple seconds of your time. And floor 40 is Magnus, which I just explode. I drop big 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 damage skills on him to make sure he dies immediately there's my big sword and a bunch of magic dispatches and we're gone make sure you go in the portal after killing magnus talk to the npc in the top right to exit out and you will get the extra 100 points for just entering floor 41 that's why we enter floor 41 uh 232 seconds it's a little bit more than that because it just dojo's timer is weird and it stops all the time but about five minutes is about how long it takes me to get to floor 40 now what does that work out to 15 minutes a day for this quest is it worth the mesos absolutely mugong's honors sell for like sold for the last honor event for upwards of 200 to 300 mil each it's awesome you guys should be doing dojo three times a day if you want those sweet sweet mesos and I'll catch you in the next one. If you have any suggestions for any dailies or weeklies or whatever you want speedrun that I haven't done yet, let me know in the comments below. Peace out. See you in the next one.